Well, folks, you know, it's going to be a good day here on Test Drive when the vehicles I'm featuring are bigger than me. I mean, they're taller than me, they're wider than me, they're longer than me. Everything about these is a big vehicle. Today, we are looking at two 2020 Ford F-250 Super Duties to see what the difference is between the brand new 7.3 liter Godzilla V8 gas engine and the tried and true 6.7 liter turbo diesel power stroke V8. What is the reason to go with either one of these and why might you be considering them? Now the old 6.2 liter V8 gas engine is still available at the base model, but let's be honest here, if you're going for the maximum towing or payload, or you just really want to have that sound and exhaust and everything, you're going to be going up to one of these two. Now Godzilla here, 7.3 liters, produces not a whole lot of power, but not bad for a heavy duty truck. This 7.3 liter V8 engine produces 430 horsepower at 5,500 RPM and 475 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. The 6.7 liter Power Stroke Turbo Diesel produces a staggering amount of power, 475 horsepower, 1,050 pound-feet of torque. Both can use the 10-speed automatic transmission and both come as 4x4 or 4x2. Now even though this Godzilla in white is a XLT and this 6.7 liter Power Stroke Turbo Diesel is a blue Platinum Tremor, we've evened everything out. If you were to get the same vehicle, whether it's got the gas or the diesel, you're looking at a pretty substantial difference in curb weight. A 6.7 liter turbo diesel would be a base curb weight of 3,294 kilograms. Quite a bit less when you go with the 7.3 liter gas, only 2,979 kilograms. That is a very large number. Now, even though the power output on the gas is considerably less, especially when it compares to the torque, you might find that it will be the vehicle for you, especially if you're hauling things, not necessarily towing, you will have better payload with this vehicle. Now, how can you configure it to get the best bang for your buck? When it comes to the 6.7 liter turbo diesel, your overall towing capabilities can go up to 20,000 pounds. That could be either with the 3.31 to one ratio rear axle or the 3.55 to one rear axle. If you're going with the gas though, you're gonna need to go up quite a bit to get the higher output 4.3 to one ratio for that rear axle and the overall towing is quite a bit less with the gas. You can get up to 15,000 pounds. So it depends on what you're doing with it. I mean, 15,000 pounds is still a considerable amount of weight that you can tow with this vehicle. So unless you really are doing some heavy duty stuff, either one should be pretty good. I think we need to take both of them on a road test and see how they feel on the road to really determine which one you should be spending your money on if you're in the market for the 2020 Ford F-250 Super Duty. So we are behind the wheel of the 7.3 liter V8 Godzilla. Now this is an XLT, obviously the trim is gonna be different, but it is a huge price increase to go up to that turbo diesel. It, in fact, it costs $10,575 Canadian if you're going up to that engine. Now also depending on the trim, you'll actually get this 7.3 liter stock. If you go up to the Platinum, like we have with that Tremor, it comes with Godzilla built into the price. But it depends on what you're going for. Like I said, towing, diesel, hauling, this gas. But it's nice and smooth. Nice power delivery there. 10 speed transmission, just like we get on the diesel. The difference is the red line is up at 5,500, whereas the turbo diesel is significantly lower at 4,000. But if you're going for a good solid work truck, maybe you're not worried as much about fuel efficiency. Maybe you're doing a lot of in-town stuff, the gas will do better. And then depending on your market too, it just might be more costly for diesel fuel. I mean, out here, if you get diesel at one of the gas stations off the highway, it's like 10, 15 cents more per liter. This uses regular, so you're gonna be saving in the long run, especially if you're in town. Diesels though, absolutely kill it on the highway. Now, 
why is this called Godzilla? I mean, it's not the first time that they have used a 7.3 liter displacement for an engine. It's still pretty big, but I don't know. There's just something nice about calling it Godzilla. It's the actual term Ford uses. It's not just the journalists and enthusiasts that came up with it. That's their development code for this engine. It is Godzilla. Whoa. Whoa. It's actually, it takes a second to get into the right gear, but man, it's a nice, smooth transition to power. I find with the diesel, it's not as smooth. It doesn't sound as good though as that diesel. This is pretty quiet considering how big the engine ultimately is. Again, if you're driving it nice and normal, you get some sound. Oh yeah, there you go. That's smooth. My colleagues out in Toronto had the Tremor with this engine instead of the turbo diesel. I don't know, I mean, I don't know which would really be ideal you know are there a lot of off-road enthusiasts out there who also align with being diesel enthusiasts maybe but this one does have a really nice power curve to it i know that the overall power is so low compared to that turbo diesel i mean 475 pound feet of torque compared to a thousand fifty but it also depends on the gearing. As I mentioned, you have to go with the 4.3 rear axle gear ratio in order to get sort of the maximum towing with this vehicle. Whereas with the diesel, you can go for a lower one. So fuel efficiency, again, will line up slightly differently. Like with such a large engine displacement, there is going to be a lot of room to improve this, especially it's naturally aspirated. Throw a couple turbos on here, maybe supercharge it. You can get tons of power out of it. I don't know how many people are going to be doing it right away, but if you're watching this in five years, hello from 2020 into the future of 2025, when you're buying this certified pre-owned or just on the used market, maybe it's time to start modifying it. But I think in order for us to really get the full Super Duty experience, we need to take a look at that 6.7 liter turbo diesel. So let's go park this one, jump into that, and see what else the turbo diesel has to offer. Before I get into the differences with this 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel engine, I want to give a big thanks to Yerjo Ford here in Actonvale. I went to them a couple weeks ago and asked them if we could do a comparison with a Godzilla versus the power stroke and they happily obliged. So big thanks to them for letting us feature their XLT. In fact, that vehicle is already sold. They're selling these things like crazy and people do want the Godzillas. But why would you consider this diesel instead? Power numbers are obviously very interesting. You have way more torque with this, but you have to go up to a much higher rear axle ratio in order to get similar towing numbers that you do with this. So not only is the diesel overall more fuel efficient on the highway, but because we have a smaller ratio for that rear axle, we'll ultimately have better fuel economy when you're towing about the same amount of weight. So it depends on what you want your truck to do. If you're just buying an F-250 just because you want to have an F-250, maybe you're hauling some stuff, then the gas engine will ultimately be the way to go. You have better payload because this is a much heavier engine. But if you're going for towing, diesel still kills it. Now, I know that there's some people that think that this new Godzilla engine will be the replacement for diesels going forward. And maybe, we'll, we'll see, it depends on how the pricing for diesel goes and if there are stricter emissions regulations that come into effect, because that's one of the things with this. I mean, I'm sure that you can get even more power out of this thing if we didn't have the diesel emission system on this, but we have to, at least knew we do. So there may be some opportunities to upgrade either one of these engines going forward. But the major difference when you're driving this naked, like I am, there's no weight in the back and I'm not towing anything, is the overall power curve. You feel the turbos on this when they spool up and kick in. You feel the instant torque bump into the engine and give you a huge boost of power. Whereas with that 7.3 liter gas, very linear, very smooth, which is what you really want when you're towing. You wanna to have a consistent experience so that whatever you have behind you isn't getting extra stress strained on that tow hook. With it smooth and consistent, everything's happy. When you're getting all this power all of a sudden, oh boy, maybe things can happen down the road. So it depends on what you're going for. Personally, I like the diesel. I like the sound of the diesel. I like the fuel economy I get when I'm on the highway with the diesel. And really, I mean, you're only saving 
one cent a liter per fuel as of filming this here in Quebec by going with the gas. Yeah, it is expensive though. I mean, ten thousand dollars to upgrade to the diesel engine on this that's a lot of money holy but if you're using this for what this vehicle is meant to be used for towing some hauling doing massive amounts of work with this truck and the diesel will pay for itself plus the other thing there's just diesel enthusiasts out there people who will never consider a gas truck just because the way these diesels sound and i just just i love it oh can't hear too much on the inside here. The sound insulation is very good, much better even on that 7.3 liter. You barely heard the engine. Just when it was getting up into the revs, you could hear the exhaust more. But with this, you just hear the engine more than anything else. And oh, it sounds so good. Plus the satisfying sound of an engine brake when you activate it, it's worth that $10,000.